Hi, I'm Katie Farrell with Dashing Dish, and at Dashing Dish, I'm all about teaching you how to nourish not only your body, but your soul as well. Today, we're gonna make my personal favorite recipe. On previous episodes, I have done Maddie's favorites, Sean's favorites, and this one is absolutely my favorite recipe. It is clean eating peanut butter cups. Now, I love this recipe for so many reasons, but most of all, because it's peanut butter and chocolate. The world's best combination, obviously. But I also love it because you can do really fun different shapes and do different holiday inspired themes with it. And I'll show you how. So to start, we just have our clean eating baking ingredients. And this isn't a baked recipe, but these are all the things I keep in my baking cabinet at home. And really it's a great swap out for anything processed like white flour or white sugar. And here I have oat flour. I have some protein powder, but you could also use peanut flour here. Some sweetener, I have some baking stevia. And then I'm gonna just stir those all together. You could add just a pinch of salt if your peanut butter isn't salted here. But we have some salted organic peanut butter. And that's our wet ingredient. I'm gonna add that to the bowl with the dry. And what I like to do is just add all my dry ingredients, mix them up, and then add the wet. And then I have some applesauce. And what the peanut butter and applesauce is gonna do is it's kind of gonna kind of bring everything together to make almost like a dough consistency. And that's what you're looking for here, is almost like a dough. Anytime you're working with a no-bake recipe and you're feeling like, okay, this is looking a little too dry or a little too wet, you can always add a little bit more oat flour to make it so that it's not sticky. And then you can always add a little bit more applesauce or peanut butter, whatever the wet ingredients is, if you're feeling like it's a little bit too dry. So you can see how this is kind of coming together. If your peanut butter or your nut butter, whatever you choose, sometimes people like almond butter or different kinds of nut butters. Um, if it is softened for this recipe, it will definitely help the dough come together a little bit easier for you. So you can see how it's coming together. And what I like to do is I like to get this formed into a ball. So you can kind of work it into your hands, get it, bring it into a ball, and then put it on a piece of saran wrap or parchment paper, and then put it in your fridge just so it kind of firms up just a little bit, almost like cookie dough. So it'll take about 10, 15 minutes. And then you'll have a beautiful ball of dough to work with here. Now you can do a few different things like I mentioned. You can either do um, like just some balls and kind of roll it up. And that's the easiest way that you can make these peanut butter cups. And that's what I like to do because it's quick and easy. So you kind of just break a piece off here, roll it in your hands into a ball, and then drop it right into some melted chocolate. And you can kind of continue that until you get just a few in the, bo uh, the bowl with the chocolate and then kind of coat them with a spoon. But you could also, if you wanted to do like heart shape or egg shape for Easter or for Valentine's, you can just um, roll out this dough just like you would a cookie dough with a rolling pin. And then all you'll have to do is take a little cookie cutter, whatever choice you choose, and cut them out into shapes. Then you take the chocolate and you just drizzle it on top of the peanut butter layer, rather than just kind of dunking it in it in a bowl as you see here. And then when you pull it out, you can see how delicious that looks. Now for chocolate, what I recommend is, is looking for a chocolate that's higher in um, the cocoa percentage. So a lot of times you'll look at a bar or a box of chocolate and it'll say 85% or what have you. So the higher of the percent of cocoa, the less sugar it's going to have. And also the less butter and milk fat it's gonna have. So it's gonna be a little bit better for you. Um, there are a lot of benefits to cocoa and to chocolate. So when you choose the darker versions, it's actually really good for your heart and there are benefits to the cocoa. So I also like to use Stevia sweetened chocolate chips. They're called Lily's brand and you can get those at a few health food stores, but also online and that has absolutely no sugar in it. So those are my favorite to use for this recipe, but really you can use any kind of chocolate that melts well. So you can see how I have two on the parchment paper here. I would continue on with all of the rest of the dough, dipping it in the chocolate, and then you can pop them in your freezer or your fridge just until the chocolate hardens up. And here you have the finished product. And you can see how delicious they look. You can box them up nice for a gift, or you can have them at home. Um, you could even keep them in your freezer for a quick fix 
if you want you know, something that's sweet that's a little bit better for you. And what I like about having something like this on hand is that it is a healthier version of a peanut butter cup um, because I know what's in it. I made it myself. I didn't add any flour or sugar, um, and so it's a little bit better for you as well. And you know, it's all about finding balance, and that's what I really like to teach people at Dashing Dish is just find balance. And a lot of times when we think of the word balance, we think of nutrition, and that's important and key, but also in every area of life. You know, in 1 Peter, uh, it tells us to be well balanced. And so that has really rung true in my life in so many different ways over the years. And one of the ways is, is that I tend to be a doer. I like to do a lot of stuff. I like to work really hard. And a few years ago, God really called me um, to just take a step back and really evaluate my priorities, what I was saying yes to. I was always stressed out and burnt out all the time. And God showed me in First Peter to be well balanced. And I realized that, you know what, I'm not doing what he called me to do if I'm burnt out and stressed out all the time. And so not only with our food and our nutrition, but it, I would encourage you today to take a step back and think, is my life really well balanced? You know, am I spreading myself too thin? Am I saying yes or, you know, to every opportunity and that comes my way? And I'm not really honing in on the things that God has called me to do to minister to my family or even take care of myself. So that's so important and I hope that that encourages you today. And also I want to show you before we leave how delicious these peanut butter cups look on the inside. And doesn't that look wonderful? So definitely make sure you check out this recipe and more just like it on ctvn.org.